火箭的控球水平简直是神乎其技，说它是天花板的级别一点也不过分，让人无法超越。它总是能在乱局之中取胜，让人不禁感叹控球技能如此巧妙。此时，十五个红球散落在台面上，如果不是黑球右侧有下，火箭恐怕又要上演十五套粉球的神技。这是二零一三年新加入的赛事冠中冠，它是替代之前的超级联赛，邀请在过去一个赛季中各项大赛的冠军得主参赛，成为新德语大师赛并驾齐驱的顶级邀请赛。这种赛程偏少、奖金又高的邀请赛，自然会受到火箭的格外青睐。在之后的历届比赛中，冠中冠似乎成了火箭的后花园。而奥沙利文在这项赛事中的成绩也确实卓越。从二零一三年至今，火箭一共四冠两亚的成绩，足以笑傲江湖。Black into play or anything like that. He knows that there's plenty of reds and pinks. You say a two-frame lead will feel pretty significant. Move in this match, I think. It would be two up with three to play. I wonder if he played that. that was a, if he did play, it was a tremendous cannon. Get the red full on. He's pushed up the table, held for the pink. Become available. Not so. Forty three. Seven red, seven pinks. Accumulating enough points here. The way things are shaping up. Another lovely shot to play on the pink. 此时粉球周围的红球已经处理的差不多，火箭开始来解决黑球周围的球形。57. Now he's in two minds here. Blue's not on its spot, that's his worry. Normally that would be his default would be up onto the It's on the pink the last shot. Played the black. With running side, left hand side. One amazing performance. Good break. One has to think about a lot of it throughout. That man had plenty to think about, Neil Robertson. He hasn't played badly, but. 黑球打进，完成超分，首届冠中冠。作为赛会的头号种子，火箭的态度格外认真。火箭在第一小组战胜了巅峰期的丁俊晖，随后又在半决赛六比五绝杀了罗伯逊，并在决赛十比八战胜宾汉姆夺冠，顺利把十万英镑收入囊中。Mentioned craft, Clive, and of course, 
All of that is about the way you play and the safety and the. 超分之后的火箭打得越来越快，他步就快跟不上节奏了。休息区的萝卜静静地欣赏火箭的表演，相信不管是谁遇到火箭，内心都是绝望的，因为奥沙利姆的发挥实在太稳定了，只要被他抓住机会，就很难有翻身的可能。或许就如球迷调侃的那样，能打败火箭的就只有状态不好的火箭自己。Well, it's not all about centuries, but still, it's nice. 可惜最后没能一杆清台，但其精彩程度堪比一场视觉盛宴。好了，本期视频就到这里，我是看台中的红凤，各位小伙伴记得点赞关注哦。